So here we are on the desktop. MSI shitty burner still doesn't work right, but guess what? GPU said decided it's gonna play ball. What? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. And what's great is see if I click this button here. And I click start render test. The whole machine will reboot. It will just power it off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your guess is as good as mine, buddy. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. But I'm not clicking that button. No way. It kills it. But at least it's working. So, I guess that's some little small mercy. But shitty burner? No. See? Watch what happens. Here's MSI. Crappy burner. Burn your poop in it. Right here. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? GPU temperature. Bug it all. <laughs> Fan speed. Nothing. Nothing. I'll tell you why. It doesn't have a fan. It's a solid heat sink. You've seen it in the previous video. Look, nothing, nothing. Bug at all. Oh, but it can read the clocks. Oh, yeah. It's even picking up G4 6600. Now, I'm wondering if this is because this AGP card has a PCI bridge chip on it that shitty burners confused because it's never seen one before I don't know I really don't this one has me stumped yes I'm so stumped right now I don't know what's going on so yeah so um, I'd use it for monitoring games but every time I do and then I go to shut down the computer some error box flashes up and it goes away too quick for me to read it with MSI leaf burner, I don't know, something, but anyway, let's get into a couple of games here, I think, I'll try and use shitty burner, but all it does is list the FPS, and maybe some of the RAM usage, and maybe, maybe the CPU usage, that sits at 100 all the time, for some unknown reason, I don't know, I have no idea. This one has me stumped, and I've even replaced the CPU. It's an Athlon XP24000, running at 2 GHz. So it was nothing to do with the Sempron, with leaf burner. So I've upgraded this patterns. board with uh, my GeForce 6600 256MB AGP card, and I put an Athlon XP 2400 in this, running at 2 gigs with the 266 megs front side bus. And if you like the sound of leaf blowers, get ready for ear popping sensation. That's loud. Loud, 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 loud. Loud! That's like my ex-wife loud, man. You're not paying me this month. No, fuck off. Wouldn't it pay you if you're fucking... for the last hooker on earth? Anyway. There you go, see? Lovely job, lad. Lovely. So, no more Sempron. Here we go with some so game. The only way I can get Tomb Raider Chronicles to run is in window mode. From the disc. 
I own the GOG version, but you know, I want to do the disc because I own the disc. Yeah. And of course, Shitty Burner doesn't detect it at all. It, it doesn't exist. <laughs> no game. It ain't there. Bye. No FPS, nothing. Even if it was locked, it would be nice if it would display it. But no. Get him, Lara. So, let's try. To me, the Chronicles. But in window mode. Oh, don't start with the crap movies that don't work right. So this is unpatched direct from CD. I've got the level editor on this too, but... I just wanted to show you this. Isn't it fantastic? Look at that. Look at all the icons disappearing and reappearing in the background. This is a Windows XP experience right here. I tell you what. You want, you get some MSI shitty burner, don't work right? Yeah. Now there is a patch for this game that allows it to run in full screen, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the last time I tried this patch, and then I ran the game, instead of Tomb Raider Chronicles across the top, it came up Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. But with the Chronicles video. And I'm like, what? Now I do own Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. It's over there. On the shelf, somewhere. I want all the Tomb Raider games on CD. All of them. From the original. Uh, to Underworld. The only ones I don't own are the new ones. Well, I tell you, I own Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But that's on Xbox One. I don't want to play my Xbox One. I want to play on XP. Anyway. So here we go, I'm gonna shut up now so you can like watch the game. To climb onto this crate, stand next to the crate, push forward, and then action. <sighs> to leap this short distance, walk to the edge, now press forward, and jump together. Now let's try a longer leap. Walk to the edge, then tap back once. Now press forward and jump together. And now for the big jump. Walk to the edge, then tap back once. Now press forward and jump together. When in midair, Hold action to grab onto the ledge. <sighs> to 
perform a sideways somersault, press left and jump. To monkey swing, jump straight up at the bars and press and hold action, then push forward. For me to climb this wall, stand next to it and press forward and action together. Keep hold of action and push up to climb the wall. To climb around corners, just keep pushing in the desired direction. For me to crawl, hold down crouch and now push forward. To use the lever switch, stand next to the switch and press action. Only because I'm fucking filming it, <laughs> I'm fucking it up. Because when I play this normally, no problem. There's nothing quite like listening to Lara moaning and renting. To swim, jump into the water. I'm going to. Use action to swim forward. Yes. And the directions to steer. Okay, let's go. Have a wet lot of to climb out, swim to the edge and press action. I know this isn't my first rodeo. Sorry, folks, I could play this game all damn day. Ha. To walk the tightrope, walk up to the road. Oh, I know, press action. press action, push forward. If you unbalance, Try not push to in fall. the opposite direction to correct. You can already tell when she's going to because she stops walking suddenly. And she's going to prove me a liar and walk straight along. Nope, oh, there she goes. Okay, which way? Okay. Nope, which way this like? Mustn't admit, this is the ga first game that I actually like because they got her ponytail right. I mean, <coughs> if like me you played the original like on PlayStation One, I've still got that on PlayStation One. I've got a chip PlayStation One. That's no bragging. That's just what I got. Uh, my former neighbour gave it to me for free. It's a modified chipped PlayStation 1. Why? I don't know. I don't know what's up here. I don't think there's anything worth getting, but we'll have a look anyway. Nope. It's just a shutter. If it's really dark, you can use a flare. Like, uh, it was very dark. <laughs> You know, I think there's a switch here. I'm not sure. <laughs> Can't see it. Switches, switches. 
Oh, yeah, I'll need it. <clears throat> I'll need to use a flare. I can't take this. That was behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suck it, Gibbs. Hey, come on. Push the switch. Push the switch. Yes, I suck. It's okay. It's okay, I suck it, Gibbs. <laughs> I'll walk to the edge so I don't fall off. Because trust me, if I don't walk, I'll fall. Oh, oh, oh. that's just how it works. Yep, yeah, throw that away. Don't need it anymore. Ha right. ha! <laughs> told you! Ha <laughs> ha! First time I fail. Damn it. What's up here? Nothing. What's through here? Ha. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I'm back. Oh no. What's this place? Okay. Let's just. You can tell I've, like, not really played much of this game, but I love Tomb Raider, so. Um. Yeah. I play it as much as I can. <coughs> I never owned any of these on the original PlayStation. It was always PC for me. I wasn't a console gamer uh, until much, much, much later on in life. Like, I don't know. I've always had computers. I mean, consoles were there, you know. Which is great. I mean, yeah. You like consoles, that's fine too. I, I mean, I don't judge anybody for how they play a game. I really don't. You just play it the way you want to play it, that's it. It doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun, that's the important thing. Yes, thank you, Mr. Motorcycle. Go away now. Anyway, yeah. So I was never really a console gamer. I always enjoyed the PC because the PC is so versatile. I mean, consoles are great. Don't get me wrong. I am not putting down a console. They are. They're good for what they are. Let's be fair. A lot of games that uh, probably would never have got ported if it hadn't been for console and vice versa for PC. You know. So yeah, I just I like both. But when it comes to the Tomb Raider here, I've always had the... Uh, weirdness. I've always had them on PC. Now, I didn't go this way before. I've been through the water. But I don't know what's down here. So let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> well, hello. Is it a secret switch or something like that? I don't know that. Probably, because I don't explore that much. I'm going to go back in the water. Anyway, uh, see what I mean? Here's half an hour of me playing Tomb Raider Chronicles because, um, <laughs> yeah, I love Tomb Raider. I can't help it. I've always liked Tomb Raider. Let's go, Lara. Whee! Let's look for a secret switch. There has to be something. Hope she doesn't drown. <laughs> Every chance she will. I mean, look who's driving her. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything down here that I can use? No switches? Nothing? I ain't seen no switches, so let's just get it. I ain't seen much of anything actually. <coughs> no, apparently there's no switches, so let's just go up. <sighs> yeah. 
There's too many like secret areas in this game for me. All these games. All of them. Secret area for this, secret area for that. It's like, all right. So what happens if you go this way then? Oh, that's the tightrope walk. Ah, okay then. What happens if I don't do the tightrope walk? It seems like there's something down here. Huh. I don't know. Oh, look, see another secret. What the? Huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. But I haven't been down here before. Is this movable? No, okay. Thought maybe it would be movable. Am I climbing on top of it? Nope. Yes. Okay. Have a crouch. Hmm. No. On to the next game, because I'll just sit here all day and play this. No problem at all. So in the interests of fairness, next up is the All-in-One 9700 Pro with 128MB VRAM that I have since it, that last game called for the, the Radeon 9000 series. This is the best one I have in the 9000 series. It's an All-in-One 9700 Pro. Um, Unfortunately, though, it only has the one DVI output, so capturing is going to be a, a little bit trickier. But yeah, so there we have it. I'm putting that in, taking the G-Force out, just to see if there's any difference. So that was why. Good evening. Yes. I'm Jacqueline Meadows. I really don't want to see you again. So now let's try stolen with this ATI card. Hmm. Anya, you read me? No. I hear you, Louie. I'm sorry. Make your way across the rooftops to the museum. Yeah, okay. Follow the yellow indicator on your map. This is ATI, 9700 Pro. Uh, come out of there, you silly woman. Why are you crouched? Mm -hmm. Stand up. <laughs> yes, thank you. I don't know why I'm trying this again, but I am. It's like a budget lot of crop game. Yes. Pressure. Oh, let her fix her boots first, for goodness sake. I don't know why I'm playing this. I'll be honest with you. <sighs> yes, I must be a glutton for punishment. Cool. I don't know what button press there, but I'm not doing that again. Hmm. And I did it again. I'm awfully good at this. I can't even like shimmy a lot of cross and go like super fast. Uh, left shift, run up a long press space to jump. Oh, cool. game is very shit. I can't say I'm having a good time with this. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a great game. Let's jump across there and see if we can catch the edge. 
Because I want the little med pack. I think I just got it. Oh, you can flatten against walls, apparently. I really don't care. This game sucks. The visibility monitor is on the left side of the map. You see it? No. Full bar, bright light. No bar, okay. no light. I get it, Louie. Yes, that's enough of this game. Dudes or dudettes, this is nuts. Right, this card powers by a floppy connector. As you can see, it's got the horrible... Whoa, 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 mustard cables now. I had to dig out a really ancient power supply to make this work. It wouldn't work with the newer ones. Seriously, 750 watt power supply with an adapter. See, it's an adapter. Because that's the only way this works, believe me. It draws too much power from the floppy connector itself. This one here. They actually can trip out your power supply. Because it thinks it's something wrong drawing too much power. But look at this thing. This is ancient. It's so old. I've never even heard of it. It's a good thing I've got it. So yeah. The joys of using older shit. For this next test I have chosen Tomb Raider Legend. I've had this game running on some real potatoes. So if this system can run it, I'll be real impressed. Oh, and I do apologize for the dullness of the capture. You see, I had to use some kind of splitter. It's all very technical. It's going through a filter. And it's coming out through the capture card. Darker than normal. I can't use capture software obviously in a single core. Because it would lag it to no end. So, once this is installed, I'll show you some of the gameplay. Alright, so, some stats for... Nerds now, since GPU Z doesn't want to work with this either. As you can see, it's a Radeon 9700 Pro, it's built by ATI. In front of it, full 8 speed AGP. It's 128 megabyte in DDR RAM. Oh, yes, awesome clocks it has. I just don't know. We've got the 3D settings here, nothing much to see. Yes. Video. Uh, nothing much to see there. Smart guard. 8. Fast on. AGP right on. AGP read on. All that. On, on, on. And it did it all by itself. Isn't that clever? If you can't see this properly, let me adjust it. There you go. Sorry, Lara. I know you're pretty. Right, you want to see her face? There you go. Everybody wants to see Lara's face. Who am I kidding? <coughs> so, yeah. The only unfortunate thing I would say about this version of the ATI software is it doesn't have the VPU overdrive or the GPU overdrive, I should say. For overclocking so basically this is going to be running at stock the whole time when we're playing or testing anything because MSI shitty burner won't even recognize it for some reason so that's useless for overclocking it with and there you have it some useless stuff Time for some gameplay. Enough talking. Again, I apologize for the darkness, but I'm using some kind of funky DVI splitter. And it has a, a filter on the thing and come through dark. Nothing I can do about it, sorry.
was awesome. The PZ just rebooted itself because I skipped the cinematic. I'm not making this shit up. <laughs> you see it here live, folks. This is just... What the fuck is going on with this? I have no idea. What the... What in the actual fuck? Hello? Okay, I'm just going to sit here and go... Hmm... This is a serious error. What fucking error? Click here. Technical information. Click here. Uh, to s I have no idea. What the fuck is going on with this shit? I'm gonna try again. I don't care. You're seeing it live. I'm not editing any of this out. I'm just going to skip that intro. I'm not skipping the cinematic this time. I'm just going to let it play. <laughs> oh. Just because no one's ever caught one, What's going doesn't on? mean they're not real. What the that fuck? That is very true, but perhaps they don't wish to be found. Yes. I've heard they're rather fierce. Yet he only look fierce. I'm going to turn my they mic off because like this is killing so cold me. All the time. I shouldn't like it either. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. Have a feeling it's rebooting itself again. It's rebooting itself again. It's rebooting. I'm turning it off. Hold right on. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to turn you off. There you go. Okay, this one's a pickle. This one really has me stumped. I don't know why it's doing this. I have no idea. None. This is a pickle. Hmm. I just, I don't know. This is great. I'm, I'm leaving all this shit in my video because, I mean, really, this is what I'm going through. Maybe I'll change the resolution on the game. Maybe it's the resolution. I don't know. I really don't. I'll need to find the setup file somewhere. Here we go again. <laughs> this is excellent. <laughs> oh, it's gonna crash. I've got a feeling. You do this. Move the leg it. Look. This recovery from a CD center. <laughs> Bill, don't tell me what it fucking is. Yeah, I don't think it supports this resolution. I'm gonna try. Let me see. What's the desktop resolution on this thing? 
1280 by 720. Right, okay, I'm going to try that. 1280 by 720. Oh, uh, well, no, we need 60, I think. Was it 60? It's not telling me. Hmm. Advanced. Please tell me the, uh, the, the refresh rate. It is at 60. Alright, well, there you go. Here goes nothing. Let's see if it runs. It may crash. It may not. It may work. <laughs> Sit back, folks. We may be in for another crash. Yeah, that was even quicker than the last time. All I did was pick up the controller. <sighs> right, okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. This is having some terrible stability issues. With this game, in particular for some reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the VGA splitter cable off and I'm going to use my capture card as the main monitor which will kill me because it'll be tiny. And she won't say why. Oh, we'll right oh well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? We're back. And it's working. And all I did was uninstall and reinstall the graphics driver. Nothing else. Oh! Am I crashing? <laughs> I spoke too soon. Alright. I'm gonna change the video card out. I'll be right back. So I swapped out the video card for a shitty GeForce FX 5200 non-powered card. And uh, GPU Z seems happy with that, it's recognizing it. So apparently ATI is giving my ass a headache, so I won't be using that one. I know the card works, I've had it working in other systems, I just don't know why it won't work on this one, but that's fine. I'm gonna get into the game now. Are you ready for a crash? I am. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Okay, my microphone's back on for this one in case it crashes. I also had to turn certain shit down just to make it stop lagging. I'm gonna skip the cinematic, see if this crashes it, because it you I've been looking for certain artifacts. Well, for some time now. And an old friend working <coughs> in the powers has tipped me off by a rather promising rumor. What sort of artifacts? An What's ornate all? stone dais. Super crash. A big rock, and she won't say why. Oh well, where would the suspense be otherwise? Oh, wait a minute. That shouldn't be disabled. I need it on. Right. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I just have to figure out all the keys. <laughs> this is hard to control, man. It's a bit oversensitive or something, I don't know. Hello. Hello. Oh. Okay. I don't like this. You know what I'm saying? Well, at least you can die, which I don't think it's fine. Mm -hmm. Kick it off. Man, this still seems laggy. Jeez, let's turn the shadows off or something. Uh, <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, I need to break this up a little bit. That's looks horrible. Oh, no, no. Let's see that. Still works, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> cool. They said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it, no problem. Unless you eat it, then you'll have to wait an hour. And let's fall down here. Oh, I might fall down there. Thank you. Thank God. That was my Sherlock Holmes impression. Thank God. Oops. I forgot to jump. Thank God. I wonder if Shetty burn the work for this car. I pressed the jump button that time. It was just. Seems to be some latency or something. And again. You fucking can't jump. There's your tail. Bear in mind, this game runs on a potato. I've had it run on 
cunt in the forest. <laughs> I give up. Anyway, so it works with the shit AFX 5200, but you have to turn everything down or off to make it work. There you have it. So, in conclusion, because I ain't going to test any more games today, would I recommend this system in 2020 for a retro build? Fuck no. Do yourself a favour. Just don't. This is not as anywhere near as good as I remember it used to be. I must be wearing rose coloured glasses. Bye.